Community health system is an integral part of any system in the world. Actually, in most of our countries where the health system is performing well, you need to have a very strong and resilient community health system. And in Tanzania, uh, since our independence, we have been able to actually, um, we have made a lot of progress in terms of community health systems. But uh, currently, our community health care system is facing a couple of challenges. And uh, some of the challenges has been uh, the fragmentation of the uh, community health systems, whereby we have several structures like the village health committees, we have uh, the ward development committee through the uh, social committee, which is a responsible for health. We have the health facility governing committee, while all these important structures and governing body, they do not speak to each other. So with um, uh, that uh, system in place, it has posed a number of challenges in terms of implementation of health, social affairs, and nutrition services at the community level. So we came up with an idea that uh, we needed to harmonize the uh, community healthcare system so that those uh, systems, they should be able to speak to each other so that we can have impactful health, social welfare, and nutrition intervention at the community level. So now, instead of having just a community a health care workers who are responsible for the, um, a specific disease or a specific intervention, we shall be having what we call a community-owned resource person who is nowadays commonly known as a community health worker, who shall be a given task uh, geared towards addressing all the challenges which the communities are facing around the area of nutrition, around the area of uh, social affairs, and around the area of health. So for the health, maybe for the diseases like uh, AIDS, tuberculosis, and, nutrition, and um, also malaria, we shall have this community-owned resource person trained on AIDS, uh, tuberculosis and malaria and also trained on non-communicable diseases and also reproductive and child health interventions in making him or her one of a very comprehensive uh, person to be able to link between the community and also the um, the healthcare facilities. So through the direct health facility financing, which was introduced uh, two years ago, then the community uh, health workers or the community owned resource persons will be receiving their incentives in the facilities within the catchment areas. And that will simplify the process and also really or remove the challenge of having the parallel system of incentivizing the community health workers. So this is a new approach and would like all our key stakeholders to buy in into the idea so that we can have a very strong and resilient community health care system. Thank you. So that's a very important thing. As I said initially that um, with the previous uh, or the current community health system we have fragmentation. As you can see from this diagram, whereby you have uh, different community structures and those dotted lines shows you that uh, those are the disjointment. There's no linkage between one level to the other or one uh, structure to the other, while these structures need to be able to speak to each other. And uh, with the proposed or the new one, you find that um, we have um, a pyramid shape. As you know, the Tanzanian uh, uh, government um, uh, system assumes pyramid shape. So at the base, you have the community members, and uh, then you uh, followed by the community on the source person who is selected by the village health uh, council or village government, then uh, reports to the primary health facility management team uh, through the health facility governing committee. They should be that way. And then at the district level, we have, we have the council health service board who also represents the, the community. But um, uh, with the previous um, approach or the current approach, you find that uh, uh, these are not speaking to each other. So we want really 
uh, these systems to be able to speak to each other so that they can bring an impact to the community as majority of the people of the community they will really love one person who is capable of addressing all the nutrition social fare and has uh, challenges at the community level thank you